This is PJ Souls, and you are totally listening to Without Your Head Horror Radio. And you can hear in the background, and he's he's live tonight from Barrett's Haunted Mansion. We have Tony Moran on the line. Welcome to Without Your Head. Hi there, guys. It's Tony Moran. How are you? I'm doing good. We're doing good, I think. We're doing good. Uh, cool. Now, cool. Let everybody know right now. Because um, I would assume this is a really busy month for you, October. Your Barrett's <laughs> yeah, haunted mansion. Mm-hmm. Yep, in Abington. Yeah, well, it's a great place. Really great place. So what, what's going on in the haunted mansion? Do you like sign autographs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sign autographs out in the front, uh, right in front of the uh, haunted mansion, and I'm doing that uh, tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Mm-hmm. And that's from about. Uh, from about from about 7 p.m. till closing. Ooh. 10 and 11 uh, o'clock at night. Yeah. And you go to bhmansion.com to uh, find out all your information. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. Cool. cool. All right. So w- what are people getting autographed most tonight? You know, mainly they're they're buying, you know, they're, they're having me sign my pictures and paying for my pictures, on uh, autograph on my pictures. Mm-hmm. Like uh, photos from Halloween, uh, stuff like that? Yeah, still shots from Halloween, Halloween one. Yep. Yeah. That, did that you, usually is the most important. Yeah. Did you uh, keep, like, any of the, like, the mask or uh, the, the jumpsuit or anything? Uh, no. Nobody kept anything. You know, when nobody got, nobody got anything. Uh, we weren't, I, don't, I think, I don't know who, I don't know who took all that, but nobody got a piece of anything. Right. Have you ever, uh, have you ever went and, like, uh, bought a new mask, maybe, uh, for Halloween and answer the door for, for trick-or-treaters? Uh, you know, I, I never have done that. The reason being is because, you know, after Halloween, I, I did a lot of TV work until I was in my early 30s, and then I got out of it, and I kind of, you know, didn't want anybody to know where I lived and didn't want to have any, you know, any kind of connection with it just in case there's some freaks around or something. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> like these people <laughs> like us. Yeah. Now, now you're probably too busy to ever be home for Halloween. Uh, i never. Yeah, this month I'm, I just travel and travel. I'm never around. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Well, when you, when you made Halloween, did you ever think, like, uh, 30 years later it would be so big? You know, no, talking about quite it. frankly, yeah, quite frankly, when I did it, I was kind of embarrassed to do the movie because there was no such thing as a horror flick, you know, with a, you know, madman type of guy, you know. And it was only $300,000 to make the film. I figured maybe two weeks in the drive and that was about it. And, you know, little as <laughs> did I know. I was I was a bit wrong on that one, you know. <laughs> Good thing you didn't bet on that one. No, for sure. I would have uh, I would have lost the house. Now, have you seen uh, like the? Because some people are asking on the MySpace and the Facebook. Have you seen the Rob Zombie versions of Halloween? No. Yeah. All right. So you won't ask you what you think of them then. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I'm not really interested. You know, they remade my stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Had, they uh, remade my movie, you know? Yeah. Just from, like, the trailers or anything, do you have any, like, opinion on, like, the actual look of, of Michael Myers in the in the new ones? Well, you know, it, I, you know, I get asked that, and it's like, well, yeah, I do, but then I don't know the movie, so maybe it works for the movie, but getting somebody that's seven feet tall it kind of takes away all the, the mystery of Michael Myers, you know, being normal. And mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, and he's more of a monster and zombies. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, like, uh, in your mind, what exactly is Michael Myers? Was he just, like, a kid who went crazy, or was he, like, the boogeyman? Or well, what do you think he Supernatural. is? Supernatural. Supernatural. Yeah. Supernatural. Mm-hmm. Uh, how yeah, would you... His mind, his mind made, him, made, him, made himself supernatural. Yeah. How would you compare him to some of the other, like, uh, iconic uh, uh, horror things like uh, Jason and Freddy? Well, you know, there is no comparison, Neil. Come on, dude. <laughs> All those are rip-offs, brother. <laughs> All the rest are just rip-offs of Michael Myers, dude. <laughs> yeah, John's going to hit nobody me. Comes that... close to, nobody <laughs> comes close to Michael Myers. <laughs> I agree with that. Mm-hmm. John, you got a question? 
Oh, yeah. I was just wondering what it was like uh, working with John Carpenter on the film. Uh, it was an excellent experience. Uh, the guy was like a, you know, a complete genius. You know, every scene he already had so, you know, pre-planned out in his head to the extent where we really never had to do more than two or three takes per, per uh, scene because he had it so planned out ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never really, really experienced that before. It was just amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Very intelligent guy. Were you a fan of horror movies uh, before doing the movie? Not really. Not really. Nope. Uh, uh, have nope. you been sent? Not really. Uh, yeah, kind of. You know, not much more than I, than beforehand. A little bit, but not much more. Mm-hmm. You know, which it surprises everybody, but, you know, because I keep, you know. <laughs> but, I, I, you know, just being honest, you know. <laughs> it's not that I'm a, I don't like them. I do. I just never get around to, to watching them, you know. Yeah. Uh, here in the chat room, uh, Loser Boy, he wants to know, how did you get the role in the first place? Uh, my my agent sent me on an interview to go interview with John Carpenter and Irwin Yablons, the producer. And that's how, you know, I went and interviewed and in the morning, uh, on a Friday morning, 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning or whatever, and then later that afternoon, um, and all I did was talk to them both. Later on in the afternoon, I got, you know, a call from Vegas, then I got to park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis, when she lifts up your mask, it looks like you kind of have your eyes shut to a degree. Did they have any like yeah. makeup appliance on there, or was that just kind of you doing? Yeah. That? No, that was a prosthetic that they put on my left eye because if you remember in the closet scene, she stabs me in yeah. the left eye with a hanger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's already healed, not even bleeding. You know what I mean? Hence <laughs> right. the supernatural. Hence the supernatural thing. You know. Yeah. Uh, we got to go on, uh, John. Oh, I was just saying, you st- you think you should have been gushing blood and shooting it at her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the thing about the Halloween, you know, is that after you watch the movie, you think you saw a bloodbath, but there's no blood in the movie. No, yeah. no. There's, there is none. Mm-hmm. There's only, like, wow, a, a cut on true. Jamie Lee Curtis's right arm. Yeah. There's a, it's, 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 her, her shirt is cut, ripped, since she has a, a cut on her arm. That's it. That's the only blood you see. Mm-hmm. Do you think uh, you think the the music is really important to that movie? Oh man, without the music, forget it. Yeah, <laughs> without the it, it, the music is just brilliant. I mean, how one movie can you know that everything can come together like it did for Halloween is just is amazing. Mm-hmm. But the but the music itself, yeah, it, 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 you know everybody knows. I mean, so that music, I mean, is just phenomenal. And really, it's kind of like Jaws, really you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, uh, I, speak. I, you're going, uh, Troy. Are we seen something? Oh, I, I just wanted to know, um, Tony. Did you do your own stunts in the movie? No, no, no. I was oh, okay. Actor. I was not a stuntman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I was just saying uh, about the music because um, Harry Manfredini does uh, the music in your new movie, Big. Yes, he does. Yes, yes. So that's, that's he's, he's doing he's he's doing the music for us. Uh, really good guy. I know him very well, and uh, he's been gracious enough to to uh, do the music for us. Yeah. So it's like there's so many. Not only are there so many uh, like horror icons in the movie, it's also a huge horror icon uh, doing the, the music. Oh yeah, definitely a big Harry yeah, Manfredini exactly. fan here because uh, he oh, has cool. some excellent excellent music on Friday the Thirteenth. So I'm sure he has some yeah. uh, great tracks for your new film. Oh yeah, he does. He does. He's he uh he really believes in our project just like the rest of us and like Tony Todd is in it, you know, Andy Man, he believes in it, and Michael Berryman, uh, Hills Have Eyes, uh, PJ Soul, Christina Klebe, uh Debbie Rashawn, oh, Tiffany Shepard, you know, yeah, Brandon and Stump. Yeah, just a, a great cast. Great cast, you know. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna have the link right up on the website, but it's uh begmovie dot com. Yes, oh. sir. We got a caller here. We got Tommy on the line. Tommy, you got a question? Uh, yes, I do. Hey, Tony. Um, I've got two hey, questions man. for you. Uh, my sure. first one is, uh, what? At, you may have said this earlier. Um, what was it like working with John Carpenter? Yeah, I did say it earlier. It was, it was an ex- excellent experience. I mean, the guy's a, a complete genius, and like I said earlier, 
the guy had every scene pre-planned out in his head so extend- extensively that we really never had to do more than three takes to any scene because he had it so well planned out. It was just amazing to work with somebody like that. What was your second question, Tommy? Uh, my second one was um, with with uh, Rob Zombie's remake out there. Um, I don't know if you saw his remake of the first Halloween, but uh, no, I didn't. Your, but um, I was going to say, uh, if so, what was your reaction to uh, Tyler Maine's uh, portrayal of your original character of Michael Myers? If you if you listen yeah, to the I, archive, I, I, you'll find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Not not too pleased about it at all. Yeah. Well, okay. What, you want to tell me? Oh no, um, no. You can go ahead. All right. Thanks for calling, me, Tommy. You're a good man. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Well, everybody Bye, know. Tommy. Yeah. You want to let everybody know what uh, Beg is about? Like a, like a brief synopsis of the movie. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um. I play the lead, and I play a very, very famous detective in Salem, Massachusetts. I became famous years ago by catching a very notorious serial killer. And uh, some years later, you know, a number of years later, another serial killer is on the loose. And I'm about six months away from retiring, and I'm chasing this guy, you know, another guy, you know, trying to find a new serial killer. And it's driving me nuts, you know, uh, and I'm getting burnt out and, you know, and, you know, things, going crazy kind of stuff like that. And, um, but I'm trying to find a new serial killer. And the movie is a tribute also to the traditional slasher 80 movies. Oh, excellent. 80 slasher movies. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely one of my favorite, uh, genres within the horror genre. So mm. I'll definitely like nice, to check nice. that out. Uh, cool. Do you think cool. you th- it's like kind of making a comeback? I think people are kind of tired of, uh, of like so much CGI and kind of like uh, just so Remake. much uh, yeah remakes and <laughs> sequels and it's uh, like a hatchet recently. That was kind of a throwback to the old uh, the eighty style and now we get big. I, r- I really like the right. look of the uh, the killer in it. I like the mask. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, the mask. Have you seen the mask? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the mask is pretty trippy, isn't it? It's definitely cool. I got some fans in front of my table right now. I'm doing a radio interview, but I can talk to you guys as well. <laughs> hey, you want to say hello? Hello, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, honey? Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, everybody says that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, no, no, Halloween, huh? Halloween. <laughs> anyway, so. she's messing up what movie the man's in. He's, he's not in Friday the Thirteenth. This is Michael Myers you're talking to. <laughs> uh, where's the glove? Where's the bladed glove? <laughs> no respect. So, what? Um, how much uh, of the production did you get into? Did you do any of the writing on the film or any of the? Uh, well, hold on a second. Hold on. I got. I okay. gotta say this. You know, I live in Southern California. I, I wouldn't come here. Uh, Take my own flight, you know. Take my own hotel, and I'm gonna. And I came here just for you to give me a free autograph. Oh my god! No, I'm not a millionaire, dude. I got paid dirt doing that movie. Anyways, yeah. So sorry about that, Neil. No problem. Uh, John was asking if you did. Uh, I was just wondering if you did any of the writing or anything on on the uh, film. On Beg. Yeah, were you primarily Say just an actor time? on it? What, in Beg? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah well, yeah, it was already pre-written. Yeah, I changed up some writing and stuff, but yeah, but I'm also a uh, producer, a different producer on the movie. Oh, okay, okay. Excellent. Yeah, that's how I got I, that's how I got my friends in it, T.J. Souls and Tony Todd and Michael Berryman and, and all that. Yeah. Stressful job so far, or has it been a fun uh Fun experience. What's that? Well, has it been a stressful job so far, or has it been a fun experience? Oh, it's been a, a, an unbelievable experience in such a good way. It's, just, it's turned out to be a dream come true. 
Yeah. Were you friends with Tony Todd and Michael Behrman uh, before doing the movie? Like, did you oh, like uh, oh, yeah, friends with yeah. them from the conventions? Yeah. And yeah, we all we all do uh, conventions together all the time. Yeah. What do you want? To, what do you want? To, you want to say hello to them? Yeah. Okay, so there's a girl that wants to say hello. Oh, anyway, right. Yeah, I, I'm really good. I've been really good friends with them for four years since I've been doing these conventions. Who? Cool. They're, they're, they're good friends of mine. As far as Tony Todd, Michael Berryman, and PJ, yeah. yeah. I've been friends with them for four years, yeah. Oh, excellent. We got a caller okay, here. on the line. Oh, you got a caller on the line? Yeah. Oh, we can, we can, talk, to, we can talk to her first. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, what you, radio station is this? This is uh, Without Your Head. Did you just tell me to shut up? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry about that. I didn't tell you. I'm <laughs> back. <laughs> I'm back. No problem. We got uh, Ruben on the line. Hey, Ruben, how you doing, pal? I'm good. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Doing good. Doing good. Well, uh, I just uh, I have haven't been listening to the show tonight. I'm actually at work, so I've only been listening online for about ten minutes. And by asking me the question, I apologize. But, uh, what was uh, the best original Halloween? What was your favorite Halloween movie, and which one from the series, and which is your least favorite? Halloween one first, and then Halloween two second. Uh, what about least favorite? About the what? Uh, how about your least favorites in the whole uh, franchise? Ooh, hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta get somewhere quieter. Hold on. <laughs> nope. How's it going, guys? How y'all doing? I still couldn't understand what you said. Uh, he wouldn't know uh, what his least favorite one was. The least favorite one? Well, here's my problem. I only saw Halloween one and two. I've never seen the rest of them. <laughs> hey, well, you know, honestly, you saw the two best. I say Halloween two because <laughs> I like Halloween one the best, but I love Halloween two. Yeah. Well, you watch the uh, two best from the series. You know, <laughs> put it simply, you watch the two best. Cool. Well, okay, uh, that was about my only question. Um, thank you for uh, being the shape, and, yeah, thank you for being in one of my favorite movies. I uh, appreciate it, Ruben. I'm sorry? Uh, we just said a thanks for calling in, Ruben. Absolutely. You all have a good night. Hey, and I'm still waiting for my uh, jar of blood. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to send them to me, and uh, I'll send them out to all the winners when, when I get them. Oh, okay, perfect. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. They're hitting us up for good night. Yeah, otherwise I'll, I'll just let... have to cut my finger and fill up some blood and send it to you. No, no, sir. No, sir. Don't do that. Don't blade yourself. Don't right. suffer for me. Uh, one last question, because um, I'm working out. How late will you guys be on tonight? Uh, I might at the end of your show. Yeah, just call back, and if we're here, we're here. If not, we're not. Beautiful. Okay, you guys have a good night, and I'll listen to the show later, and thank you, like always. All right. Thanks for calling, man. Okay, take care. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye. Uh, you said you didn't get paid dirt for uh, doing Halloween. Like, do you want to say how much you did get paid? No. But it wasn't was like anything. I mean, the movie was $300,000 to make the whole movie. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, do the math, kind of. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just much at all. Yeah. So we yeah. had Ben Chapman on a few years ago who... Uh, was a creature from the Black Lagoon, and he's a really good guy. And afterwards, he sent us a copy of his um, his contract, and he made three hundred dollars to play the the creature. So. Right, right, right. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, yeah so, that's, that's what happened. Um, I, I made about the same. <laughs> right. Yeah, and it was a lot lo- uh, a lot later too, because I was like, yeah, a, that's so. true. Yeah, three hundred dollars yeah. in nineteen seventy eight wasn't the same as like you know in nineteen fifty. Yeah, 1957. Mm. PJ Soul, she's in your new film. I just want to know, do do we see anything that we like in the new one? (laughs) (laughs) No, no, she didn't do that. Oh, Oh, well, can't win them all. (laughs) I know, she's a a sweetheart, I'll tell you that. She plays my wife. Excellent. Uh, We got Chuck on the line. Howdy, fellas. Mr. Morant. Hey, Chuck, how are you? I'm doing great. What was your favorite murder scene in Halloween one? And why? What was my what? Your, your favorite slash scene in uh, Halloween one. Oh, the kitchen, the kitchen scene. The kitchen scene the kitchen. Where, where he gets stabbed and, and up against the wall. I thought that was just unreal. I think it was great. So so so, how do you pre- pre- prepare for for a murder scene? Is there any anything that you do to uh, psych yourself up? Um. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. But it's 
but that's sort of like a thing where how do I explain it to you? There's no way to explain it to anybody how you prepare for something like that. But yeah, you have to prepare, and especially you have to prepare because I have to use my body. There's no there's no talking in it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Joe. Yeah. All right, we got uh, one more caller here. Seven seven four area code. Who is this? <laughs> caller, who are you? Hello. Yeah, who are you? I'm in Harry here on uh, for my state. All right, got a question for Tony. <laughs> Gotta speak up, caller. Uh, you got a question for Tony? No. I think we scared him off. Well, <laughs> <we're in>. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody check out begmovie.com. You get to see Tony Rand's return to horror. Also, you see Tony Todd and PJ Souls, Michael Berryman. Oh. Pretty awesome cast. Christina Klebe. Yep. Yep. I'm looking forward to this one now. I didn't hear, I didn't know anything oh, yeah. about this before tonight. Oh, you got to go see the trailer on, on BegMovie.com. You got to feel what you see the trailer. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be very special. I promise. No, nope. uh, will will this be on DVD? Will be at the uh, we be able to see it on the big screen? How are we going to see it? Well, we don't we don't know yet, but we're we're pushing. It. Let me tell you, we want to we want we want to be in the uh, we want to get a theatrical release. We'll see. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, we'll let you get back to the haunted uh, house. We're going to thank you for coming on tonight. Appreciate it, man. I, I love being on your show tonight. Cool. Uh, take care, man. I thank you so much, Happy guys. Happy Halloween. Yes, Happy thanks Halloween a lot. Happy Halloween every day. <laughs> Happy Halloween every day. Thank you. Thanks, man. Okay, guys. See you later. See ya. This is Paul McElhaney from Ungovernable Films, and you're listening to Without Your Head. <laughs> 